Hello, this is Eric from AD Racing Central. I had so much fun during my last online session with Rocket Racing, so I wanted to play the game some more, which I'm going to do right now. Let's get started. Alright, first race for the evening is starting now. I can see that many players here have different types of vehicles than I do. This is the basic vehicle that you get when you just log into the game, because this is a free-to-play game. Third place, let's see if I can catch up to this guy. Stacking up a couple of boosts here, this is not the proper place to activate a boost. <laughs> but maybe here, I'm going for it. And another one. <laughs> Back in second place. <laughs> Missed. <laughs> yeah. That was a tricky section. There were boost pads on a very short part of the ceiling there. That was a very poorly executed turbo. Not the best spot to do it in. That might have cost me a position or two. Alright, last lap. Alright, I'm trying, gonna try to stack up a second turbo. Now! <laughs> okay. Activate the second turbo to save my face here. <laughs> you know what? Second place, all things considered, not too shabby. <laughs> Let's watch a ranked recap here. I'm on silver two. Just wait for everybody to get to the finish line. And then we're gonna play a second race. One thing I like about this game is that they make the tracks more and more complicated the higher you rank. 99% boost. I'll take it. And when I say more complicated, we are talking more sections where you ride upside down, jumping between walls to avoid lava, very narrow and tricky sections. Yeah, I can activate my turbo too. And you obviously you should drift as much as possible, even though you obviously, if you drift too much, you lose your forward momentum, but you get a nice speed boost when your drift ends. I have a turbo, but I think I'm gonna stack it. There's really no need to use it now when I'm in first place, even though the other players are close. I think this will be a good time to activate it. Nice. I'm not sure how much of a comfortable lead I have, but I am in first place. Activating the boost again. These goofy racing games can do so much more than you actually can in a realistic racing game. They are not bound by the rules of reality, like in Gran Turismo for example. Nothing wrong with realistic racing games at all, I do play them too, but I tend to be drawn to this type of games a bit more. Uh, another boost. Yeah, I'm using it. There's a really fun mechanic where you can hit the boost button again to get even more boost from a boost. Will I get a good position in the next race so I will rank up to silver 3? Who knows? Let's find out. So now we had one race where I really had to struggle to get ahead and one race when I won much more comfortably. Let's see how the last one goes. We're off to a bad start. For some reason I have a hard time timing my acceleration in the beginning to get the, the boost start. <laughs> okay, I missed the speed pad there, but I flew too far because of activating the turbo before. I'm flying. Yeah, there's a jump boost mechanic here. Sort of a thruster that you can manage to uh, stay in the air, which comes in handy on some tracks. Nice. Why did I activate my turbo there? Who knows? I just saw the prompt on screen and I panicked and pressed the button. But you know what? It didn't work out all that bad actually. And I should have my second boost quite soon. Now it all depends on how much boost they have 
and how they activate it. <laughs> yes, the edge. That was ultimate bad luck. Okay, we're in fourth place. I am activating my booster again. Not very happy with seventh place. I think I'm gonna do one more race and see if it goes any better. All right, last race. Hmm, still not nailing the timing. All right, here's a section where you probably have a lot to gain by staying a bit in the air. Instead of driving over all those bumps. Uh, and here we see the lava. <laughs> okay. I have to do that three times? That was pretty intense. And it's not over yet. Yeah, I need to you need to land every now and then to recover your boost. We have a nice straight here. Ah uh, that was the finish line. All right, we are there again, fourth place. I want to make the podium at least. Yeah, we are handling these sections quite well. And we're boosting. Which I may not. Uh, oh, missed the boost pad, but I think that was the most appropriate route to take. This was a bit unfortunate because I really should have saved a boost for this section. Okay, now it all comes down to how well we all handle the lava sections. Who can keep their cool and who can't? Oh. <laughs> Not me, apparently. Okay, I have one more boost here. <laughs> you know what? Third place, I'll take it. Especially considering it was my first time on that track. Click on this video to see another similar session in rocket racing and check out my channel for some other content about futuristic racing games. But that will be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I am Eric from Age Racing Central and I'll see you in the next video.